true triple katana is too overpowered. This is literally what people are saying on YouTube and in my comments, but is this even true? We're going to find out right now with an official Blocks Fruit Bandits breakdown. And of course, I've got some secrets to share with you about how that crazy AoE tornado keeps killing you. And even more importantly, how you can turn the tables on your tornado spamming friend. We focus purely on the PvP aspects of Blocks Fruit, so watch a different video on how to actually get TTK. This channel is all about getting into the nitty gritty, the deep details, the nerd so let's go. If you fought against TTK, you know the most annoying move is that insanely strong projectile tornado that takes up half of the screen and shreds your dodges. The rework has brought some new life into so many swords, and TTK is no exception. Let's jump right into the pros and cons. Overall, TTK has some really strong pros. Great combo starters and extenders, very little end lag on moves, massive hitbox on X, and the ability to absolutely delete all of your dodges with the X tornado. Cons wise, there are a few issues, like the Z being completely avoidable with Ken, shorter range on the Z with a hitbox that's actually honest, which is a first for these breakdowns, and technically, an escape window on X that I'm really excited to dive into the details on. You can use this sword with any fruit, really, since the combo potential is really solid. We'll use Portal and Kitsune for this showcase, but remember, we don't focus on fruit-specific tech, but tech that you can apply to any fighting style or fruit, so learn the concept, not the combo, if you want to be a good player. Remember, the new enchantments, the numbers are all subject to change, so just be mindful of the base cooldowns, and they can differ by anywhere from plus or minus two to three seconds. With that in mind, let's get it. Now, before we dive into any of the moves, let's quickly talk about the M1. I know, a Blocks Fruit Man, it's first for a sword. The fourth slash of the M1 actually sends very far compared to other swords. You can use this with Dash Jump to get some extra movement that you normally wouldn't. I've used this a bit to close the distance if I'm using a less mobile fruit, or even to throw off your opponent with a nice dodge of one of their moves. It's not groundbreaking, but it's worth mentioning. Okay, let's jump into TTKZ. TTKZ is a dash that serves as a solid combo starter or extender as well. Base cooldown of 9 seconds. You dash forward and slice the opponent a few times. This sets up great for a follow-up move. The range is the most honest I've seen of any sword, meaning it's exactly what it looks like visually. The hitbox of the move is large, but the problem with the move is not only can you dodge it with Ken, but it's also Ken trickable if you do get hit, meaning press the E button invalidates this move completely. This move does hit after God Human C, but it's a fairly precise hitbox to chain this successfully. Remember though, that since this move can be dodged with Ken, a good player will try to Ken trick this move after God Human C, so be mindful of that. I think using this move after God Human C is great, but don't get too predictable with it, because then your opponent will catch on and Ken trick. The best way to use this sword is to combo either from a stun move or even catch a dashing opponent with their instinct down. Defense wise, this move is easy to dodge, either with instinct or with a cantrip. It's definitely worth it to cantrip the move, otherwise you'll be eating a combo for sure afterwards. It's got a short cooldown though, so be mindful that it'll be up again soon. Super quick recap on the defenses. Get ready to dodge if you see them pull out TTK and their X is on cooldown. If you get hit, cantrip and you should be fine. Plus, keep an eye on your dodges since this next move is the dodge drainer, the instinct eliminator, the observation obliterator. We're talking about TTK X. TTK X sends a dragon projectile that scoops you up, drags you to the destination, and once there, the dragon bites, and it spawns a large tornado that sucks you towards the center and directly upwards from there. This move has a base cooldown of 14 seconds. Each part of this move has a different property, so let's go over it. The projectile that's sent out is extremely strong. The dragon projectile overall has a huge hitbox that on a direct hit breaks instinct and drags you to the location of where the user's mouse cursor was. You can use this in neutral to try to catch your opponent dashing since they'll be dragged with the move. Defense-wise, you can't Kentrick a direct hit, so save your Kentrick after the bite. Technically, if they're close, and your instinct is on, you can Ken trick this, but it will drain up to six dodges. And as soon as you let go of the Ken trick early, technically you still take damage and get moved. Just be mindful of that. Once the dragon bites, a tornado is spawned, which pulls anyone in the area towards the center of the tornado. Hitting the center of the tornado sends you upwards. Offense wise, you could flash step and TTK X straight down, but you miss out on the strongest part of the move, which is the projectile, but it could still be worth it. As they're getting sent towards the center of the tornado, this becomes an excellent combo starter though, because you can aim your move at the center of the tornado where they'll end up being anyway. As they get sent up, upwards, they always go the same distance upwards at the same speed, so you can jump up and continue a combo from there by aiming where they will be. Additionally, if you throw this move at your feet, the opponent will be sent super predictably up above you, so very easy to extend a combo with any move from here like God Human Z. I called this out in the Portal Glitch video, but there's a glitch with Portal X right now, where if you go into Portal X and tap TTK X before Portal X ends, you see it on your screen, but your opponent doesn't see anything or even hear anything. I do not encourage this though, because it's unfair and probably unintended. However, hopefully it's patched by the time you watch this, but just know it was not patched when this video was made. Defense wise, you need the Kentrick as the tornado spawns. It will eat a ton of your dodges, but it delays the knockout. And here it is. This is your secret blocks fruit bandits tip. Two things here. Number one, if you can the move, it will drain your dodges. So you don't want to lose all your dodges, but you can press E after moving for a little bit and it'll send you upwards wherever you are. You'll still take damage, but you can almost use it as movement to get away from your opponent. Plus it's unpredictable by your opponent. So they can't successfully follow up on TTK's strongest move. You're in control here. You press E whenever you're ready to be sent up. Second, 
Secondly, if you do Kentrick this move, your opponent will be rushing towards you to try to combo. You can catch them with a follow-up range move, and even better, surprise them with a flash step and close range move like God Human Z. Just be careful though, because if you got Human Z without being close, the instinct gets broken for some reason. Even so, there's potential to destroy your unsuspecting opponent, so use this Blocks Root Bandit's tip to turn your opponent's smile and bounty upside down. Quick recap on the defenses. Save your Ken for after the tornado spawns, and if you can trick, punish them as they approach. Let's talk about enchantments. As a gun main, Strong Grip has been very solid. TTK does a great job at starting a combo with both moves, so I like the extra damage. If you prefer shorter cooldowns, you could go in real here as a Blocks or Gun main, but remember, you're sacrificing 2,000 damage for like 2.8 seconds of cooldown reduction on X at the most, so it's kind of up to you to see if it's worth it. As a Sword main, though, Sharpshooter has been nerfed, so in my opinion, 10% damage for 20% longer cooldowns, just not worth it when you can go Masterpiece for 5% damage buff, but it's only 5% less, and an 8% cooldown reduction. Blessing-wise, I like C or Frozen. Both of these do a good job in 1v1 to either reduce their health regen to basically zero or reduce their movement speed by a lot. That way, if they do Ken Trick, if they rely on dashing to get out of your move, it'll be much harder for them to get away. If you're a Sword main, though, Burning does a decent chunk of extra damage. TTK is an insane combo starter or extender, so I encourage you to get creative with your own combos. But here's four combos to hold you over if you're not feeling that creative. I got two God Human combos for you. God Human C into TTK Z, into God Human X, into God Human Z upwards, into TTK X for the kill. Next one, Flash Step TTK X into God Human X and Z, where they'll be, right into God Human C straight upwards into TTK Z for the kill. Now for Sanguine Art, which I really like, TTK X and then Sanguine Z where they will be, into Sanguine C straight up, into Sanguine X, and then TTK Z for the kill. For the last combo, shout out to X Steam for this one. X Steam actually helped me out creating this combo with Kitsune, so huge thanks to X Steam. God Human C into TTK Z, into Kitsune F, into God Human X, straight into God Human Z upwards, into Kitsune C and X, into TTK X, and then Kitsune Z if they're not dead. Now let's get into some PvP. We're trying something a bit different. Let's do a best of five, kind of like the Kitsune video, but this time Frog doesn't go his ice build. First two rounds were on Frog server. We're sitting at about 250 millisecond ping, and we're getting some FPS delays. This is going to be rough. But what's even worse is we did a few with God Human, and I lost the footage. So we're going to go with Sanguine. So wish me luck. Let's get it. Round one. Remember, this is all about learning your opponent's habits. We don't have to win. We need to learn their habits. I fought ice a ton of times, but Frog's going to use it a little bit different. I open up with Kabucha moves to deny the middle space so I can dash to either side. He uses his sword X to Soul Guitar, but he misses. I try to catch him with TTK X, but I don't have any luck here. He misses his ice V, so I punish with a ranged Kabucha Z and kind of poke him with it. I go into Portal X since he's camping in Ice V, but I barely miss the Sanguine Z and TTK Z. We poke each other a little bit and he dodges my TTK X pretty nicely. It's a poke battle right now, as anytime I try to approach, he backs off to wait for Ice V, which makes it pretty tough. I try to catch him with Sanguine C, but he dash dances, so I miss the prediction. I keep trying to apply pressure with TTK X, but the lags delay land my TTK Z, so nothing is hitting at all. He's back to aggression now that his cooldowns are back and pops Soul Guitar X and Ice V, but somehow I don't get hit because of lag. Thank the lag gods. But I know he doesn't have Cyborg for 30 seconds, which is nice. He stops to type because that made no sense, so I'm gonna let him reset neutral. I'm not gonna take advantage of that, but I miss everything this round. And he kind of does too, which is good for me. I use Kabucha to take up space, but he misses his Ice V. And of course, I mistakenly dash forward just enough for him to catch me. He gets me in the combo, but I time my Ken in lag, which is crazy, even though he has Cyborg V3 up and available. But eventually, I end up getting hit, and I'm just unable to combo anything, unfortunately. The lag is not helping, and really, I deserve to lose at this point. He catches with Soul Guitar X and the Ice V for the true combo, and round one goes to Frog. Round two, we both start the exact same way, and I'm really feeling the lag this round. I miss every single one of my moves, even with the free combo starter in front of me with Portal X, I miss the Portal Z. As punishment for my mistakes, I get Soul Guitar X to eat a full combo for my death. And honestly, I really got to practice more in high ping. But good thing is, we're jumping to my servers now, which are a little bit more equal playing ground for both of us. Round three, starting things off the same way. And I'm one game away from losing the set, so my nerves are real. Kabucha X does catch into a nice Portal Z Sanguine combo, which is really nice to get some good damage on the board. I get some good pokes on those combos, but getting a little bit too cocky, I eat a full combo myself. And if it wasn't for Portal X and Cyborg V3, that would be GG's. I get a lucky snipe with Sanguine C into Z followed by X and I barely squeak away with the win on this one. Let's see if we can do this game four. This time, I try aggressive. If I make a mistake though, I'm dead. Take my time, hit a nice Portal Z and get a nice Sanguine Z but miss the TTK follow up with both moves. I see him coming for the ground so I anticipate the Ice V and Portal M1 the fuck out of there. I hit my Sanguine C and he tries to prediction Ice X me into the bread and butter Sanguine Z into TTK Z Sanguine X but it's not quite enough. I Portal X and I see him pull out his Soul Guitar so I predict the Kabucha Z for the kill. Final round and not gonna lie, I'm kind of nervous, especially since I lost the footage using God Human, and I lost that set. So let's see if I can clean this up and take the W. I tried the aggressive strat again, try to pretend I got hit by Soul Guitar by holding Sanguine C in the air, but he was unconvinced by my tricks. <laughs> he Ice Vs for some reason, probably thinking I approached, so I take this time to put on the pressure. TTK X is out and it hits, 
but he escapes with a Kentrick. We poke each other, but Frog is on the run. Soul Guitar cuts off his escape route. TTKX does hit, but I'm a bit nervous and I miss the follow up completely. He drops down to Ice V and I'm thankfully stalled, so I stay in this space and add some stress. Portal X and I catch him with the preliminary combo. I use some Kabucha moves to catch him, but I didn't jump as high as I should have, so it has a chance to miss, but thankfully it hit. Sanguine C combos into TTKZ and the TTKX, and that is true here. I jump up and Sanguine X as he's airborne. Portal X flash step to scare him into using Soul Guitar and miss my Kabucha moves, but Portal M1 away from Ice V, and now's my chance. Apply the pressure. I throw out Sanguine C to get him out of Ice V since he's super low. He gets away in time, but Sanguine X pulls him back into the orbs range, and I watch him die in front of my eyes. Insane kill at the end. GG's frog. Thanks for the 1v1s, my guy. Appreciate the games. And that's all I got for you for TTK. I hope you enjoyed the breakdown. This was a really interesting sword, especially with the properties on that tornado. You can ken it and it burns your dodges, but there's ways that you can leverage the burnt ken and the movement from that tornado to really take advantage of this sword and turn the tables on your opponent. If you like the video, please leave a like, leave a comment if you want to see something different or if you want to see some more. Definitely feel free to subscribe if you like our stuff. Check out our Discord if you want to be a part of the community or throw some contributions in the chat for us as always each video has a perfect -perf giveaway so if you're here for that leave a comment and you might win and we'll update the pinned comment to show who won in that video i appreciate y'all see you in the next deep dive